<laughs> well, last time we got together to do one of these videos, you had a very uh, interesting collection that you're like, hey, why don't you put this yeah. put this on YouTube? And uh, those things yeah, went into the deep files. Yeah, those... you, you weren't brave enough. What no, can I tell I'm you? not putting those on there. <laughs> Uh, this is a follow-up video on uh, um, a large purchase that we had made, me and my partner here, Steve, uh, from US Coin Trust. Uh, glad to have him on board. And we had uh, our uh, good friend here from uh, Empire Precious Metals. Stormy. Stormy. <laughs> Stormy. It's all good. I'll um, edit that out, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so part of the deal was uh, this client um, had an agent came in with uh, about... Uh, 1200 gold pieces and in the um, first video we showed about uh, what a little over a million dollars worth of gold would look like we uh, uh, we had to take it in from the client and exchange acquire about 450 saints the original deal plus the balance in cash or check uh, what have you uh, the deal consisted originally of um, 560 10 libs 505 libs and uh, 140 20 libs the client for some reason they lean towards um, owning saints plus um, a check uh, to go along the way so that's what we did it's been like a, a lot of struggle actually and a lot of work for us to uh, obtain the product we didn't want to create too much noise as going out as a buyer looking for a huge amount of gold 450 pieces in uh, either almost new condition or brand new conditions in a very short period of time when you stir up that much of commotion in the market normally all the bigger boys that would hold out their prices thinking that ah maybe you will be able to get 50 to 100 pieces of the market but when it comes down to crunch time that's when they will eventually jack up the prices raise their bids you know temporarily take advantage of the situation and actually hurt us along the way so we did that in a very clever way. We went in there acquiring, and luckily we have great connections with a lot of the dealers nationwide that uh, we've got to actually um, deal with a lot of wonderful people to send us anywhere from one piece, two pieces, nine pieces, 10 pieces, 20 pieces, 50 pieces, 90 pieces, uh, to get that whole order acquired in a very speedy and a short period of time. We had to actually throw a much higher bid than the actual market because we wanted to satisfy our client and get the product within that frame of time that we told them a couple of weeks. Actually, we got it all done within 12 days. So it was a massive task. We got it done with and we wanted to show you what, again, over a million dollars worth of gold would be on the other end, just in a form of a different product. So this is a follow-up video to tell you where we stand on the product. Not only did we fulfill the, the client's needs, but we were also able to move about good 75% of the product that we acquired from them, yeah, which were, left. yeah, so that's what's, what's left, left basically. That's what's left, yeah. yeah, in $10 pieces, as you can see. And in the previous video we showed you, it really doesn't matter if you hold them. I mean, we're a professional enough that we know how to handle the coins and the quality that these are. It doesn't make a difference to grade them or not. It's mm -hmm. just They're, they are what they yeah, are. Lightly circulated anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, so you had, and just because the people that are tuning in and they may not have seen that first video, the client, for whatever reason, didn't want liberties anymore. They just wanted to convert them all into St. Gaudens. Do yep. you think the reason behind that was because they had so many coins that were in the $10 denomination, the $5 denomination, since those have a little bit more premium because they're smaller pieces, was it more advantageous for them to kind of consolidate those and essentially, you know, go for the bigger pieces, which is the, the St. Gaudens? Um, um, I don't think that was the case because they did have the bigger pieces, which is the 20 libs, the earlier ones. That is true. Yeah, so I don't think that was the case. I think it was more like a personal preference and a combination of needing a little bit of money along the way because they didn't only get gold back, right. but they wanted to take also some cash out. So um, they, for some reason, they liked the saying Gordon. Maybe it was just uh, they fell out of love of the uh, Liberty design and they wanted the saying Gordon's as they, whether they look closer to the American Eagles 
or just wanted just like you said larger units that could have been also a possibility we honestly don't know what the reason for that was doesn't but matter, yeah, right? it doesn't, it really doesn't matter, really matter. Yeah, that's what they wanted <clears throat> yeah so, so we, can i ask you 450 again it's what they chose right i know yeah. for my because you were just talking about ocd steve um i know <laughs> i if i was like oh 450 or 500 how come they didn't spring for Because that was the number that worked with the deal going out and then coming back okay. in and then acquiring the cash out. The cash out that they needed that for was how some the their personal. That's just the way it worked. It's just the way yeah, it Yeah, that's what the number. Yeah. So they figured we'll take 450 and the balance will take it in a form of money. That's Understood. what it meant for whatever the personal needs are. And you got some slabs. Yes. Is this yep. because it's what you were in need of to get those numbers to get that 450 or did they ask for slabs so uh, what we needed we needed to satisfy anywhere from high end about uncirculated which okay. is in a form of 55 au 55 new uh, numerically speaking and the price doesn't spring up much whether in the slab or without the slab up to 62 so um Again, it costs us a little bit more to get the last batch right. just to complete the deal and uh, deliver on a timely basis. But needless to say, it's about 25 to maybe $50 difference oh, so between the grades. So it's very irrelevant. That's especially why, when you're dealing with numbers this right, month. Right. Yeah, that's why. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's yeah. why when we say it doesn't matter slab them or not because they really don't spring out much in a way of, of uh, There's price. not much spread. There's very little spread. Correct. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, Steve, what's yeah. your preference if somebody offered you a twenty dollar lib or a St. Gaudens? I like the libs. Okay. You I have... just that's a personal thing. Um I like the older libs, not the much later ones. I like them from the fifties. I like scarcer coins. I like New Orleans early ones. I like Carson Cities. Some of the uh, Jonathan Brothers, the uh, 67 S, 68 S's. I like that type of liberties. Um it really doesn't matter. I also like like the high relief in the Saints or some of the mm -hmm. 07, the low profile. Um, I, li I like more numismatics than anything. As far as style wise, they're both pretty coins. So. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. With that. What I um, <clears throat> and for these Saint Gaudens coins, you know, is there any reason as to why somebody would want these coins over the twenty dollar libs? Is it because they have, like, do they hold their value more? Are they more sought after? Are there few of them, fewer of those coins struck? Like, what's, you know, or is it just apples and oranges? Is this exactly, it's apples and it's more really more like a personal preference okay. to the client than uh, what makes sense and yeah, what some doesn't. Some people are afraid that they're going to, you know, uh, take the gold back like they did in 1933 mm -hmm. and they're feeling like if they had this, then it's a numismatic, a collectible type piece. Mm -hmm. That's one angle that some people might feel. But it, to be honest, yeah, with I mean, you, if I you're trading lives that. for twenties, they're both pre thirty three. So, yeah, so I don't think for this client that would have been an issue. Got it. So they traded pre thirty three gold, for which is pre thirty three. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So after this deal is done, because I mean, essentially it is done. Okay. Yeah, You've that's got yeah, these been going done. back to the the client. client, and now you just have these ten dollar lives remaining of this original deal. And I know you already offered to send me some for like a gift, and that was very nice of you. I yeah. appreciate that. Yes, what, correct. I mean, do you th see yourselves doing any other, you know, big deals like this? Because now you've just done this, you know, you brokered this big deal, moving, you know, over a million dollars in gold into another form of gold, right? I, yep. I can't think of anybody, you know, who's able to come up with, <laughs> like, to be able to fulfill that transaction in 12 days. So that being said, do you think there's, you know, other big deals like this coming down the road? We're looking yeah. forward to it, and we hope that there is. We believe there are, um, but time will tell. Obviously, I mean, we're we're we'll take small deals, we'll take big deals, whatever comes in. It just so happened like it is. But how often, how frequent? I would tend to say that's probably not as frequent. Mm -hmm. I don't suspect. Yeah, that. I don't think that's going to happen once a week. Yeah, correct. No, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. No, I think you I'm... lost a little more hair and you lost a little more weight since yeah. this I whole did, thing. I did. Yeah, um, I got more gray also. Yeah, yeah seriously, right. you used to have a you know jet black head of hair. I and, did. I did. You know, I, I think this is you know really cool, and I'm happy that you guys were able to include me and uh, document this because, like you said, Steve, it's not every day that yeah. you have over a million dollars of gold sitting in front of you, you know, and 
you know, my wife, you know, I showed it to her and she just, she couldn't believe it. She's yeah. Like, Holy crap. And it made yeah. my stack look very, you know, insignificant. So. I think on the average person, this would make your stack look small. Oh my God. <laughs> we, 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 we're suffering from small stacks. <laughs> right, oops. <laughs> yeah. All we can say is like, even though it was an extremely tiring project, but we've really enjoyed it and we're still enjoying it that we were able to deliver. It was a test. It was a big test for both of us. And did it. we were able to do it. Yeah. Uh, very few people could tell you that they could. We were very, uh, the other issue that we had actually, we were extremely selective about the quality, specifying they have to be a nice retail. And with all fairness to, uh, to everybody, the deal that they had gotten and they had purchased originally, they were considered as commercial unk, which is like almost new, just slightly mishandled. Uh, the product that they had acquired, it was not to the quality not that right. it was delivered. Not, not at this. all. This is a no. nice. This is a much superior light, just like we more. promised them. Yeah, I mean, you can and you can tell all the coins all that are glowing, they're brand new. I would say you'd be looking at about 70% of the product plus is a brand new saints in here that. If you happen to, uh, mint state. you know, yeah, mm -hmm. mint yep. state, uh, yeah, uncirculated. So, um, yeah, very, very nice lot, very selective lot. Um, and again, we're very happy to deliver this to the client and hopefully we make them very happy. I believe they'll be extremely yeah, happy. Yeah, they, they, they would be static. I mean, there's nothing itself. to complain about this lot. And again, um, I may not say this enough, even though I've said it enough in the video, in the uh, messages, but I do thank all the dealers and all the clients that have helped us actually fulfill this deal. A uh, shout out to them, whether yeah. they watch our channel or they don't. They uh, Everybody helped us, whether they sold us two pieces or 50 pieces. We appreciate yeah, you all. we appreciate it. I, yeah, sold it three, it I sold three of the $10. Yeah, it was lives. an effort on everybody. Yeah, everybody oh, had the, you I, was, know. I wanted to sell a roll for you. I'm so disappointed <laughs> in myself. Yes. It's yeah, amazing. every bit helps again. That's um, what uh, you know. There is no I in the uh, in the team. The, we're a no team, team, correct? Yeah. So well, boys. we all work together, and we've always enjoyed uh, dealing with you since you've been with us from the beginning, Stormy. So uh, yeah, no, I, again, I, we're glad that you're part of this with us, and uh, we can share it with you. I, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Next call, I expect you know two million in gold. Okay, so. <laughs> right, you'll see. or hopefully something. <laughs> well, I you kind of did get two million. Like sure. Yeah, you yeah. ran a million out. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, last time we got together to do one of these videos, you had a very uh, interesting collection that you're like, hey, why don't you put this yeah. put this on YouTube? And uh, those you, things you, went into the deep files. Yeah, those... you, you weren't brave enough. What no, can I tell I'm you? not putting those on there. But anyway, guys, I'll see you real soon. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much again. I appreciate it, Stormy.